what's up fellas how you doing right now this is kind of a test video as well as a video on uh, my monster LEDs the cool thing is that uh, right now I have a brand new video camera but it's a Sony CX700 and uh, new to me a very nice high quality video camera so hopefully the videos come out much much better as well as an external mic which is faced towards me so hopefully it gets great sound what I want to get to now is the fact that you bought the best LED upgrade kits on the market and they are my monster LEDs. These are off the hook, right? Off the hook. So you have the kit, you get it at your house and now you want to do an install. What I have in front of me right now is one of my many Overland models that I'm installing the LED kits into. I rip out all the old um, electronics that you can see in this thing. Like two things when it comes to installing the LEDs. I'm a DCC user. You can use them for DC or DCC. I'm just a DCC user. I'm a huge fan of TCS. I use A6X decoders, sometimes A4X. I'll explain to you why I use different ones for different locomotives. I also use a Keep Alive. Keep Alive's off the hook, as I showed you before. Keep Alive will keep them looking really good, so when you take the locomotive off the track, you still got nice, lit locomotive. See that nice and bright? That's because the Keep Alive lights stay on. It runs over any dirty track. This looks really good. This is an Overland model. I'm going to show you an install and an Overland model, which is just much the same as it is with any other locomotive. Another thing for install, I always recommend getting clear tacky glue. I love this stuff. This stuff is off the hook. If you ever noticed light bulbs in Athens locomotives and other locomotives that are glued in, people say you put a, drip, a drop of water and then it comes out after a minute or two. That's because they use a glue that's similar to this. I use this because if you make a mistake, you can pull it right out by adding a drop of water. This is really, really good right here and it dries clear. Well, let me show you the locomotives I have on track um, with my kits into them and one that I have right here. So let's check it out. Okay, so what you have right here is four locomotives, all with monster LEDs in them. As you can see, they are very bright, look very, very good. This is my recent install right here, which is a Canadian National. 2672 we'll move it forward this one's gonna be for sale on eBay in a couple days I just bought this locomotive to add ditch lights my monster LEDs and some details to it some of the details that I've added to this locomotive as you can see on the top is a Doppler I added uh, windshield wipers and on the bottom I added MU cables which is kind of hard to see in here and then of course KD couplers I installed it with an A4X on this model and you press 2 and you get alternating wigwagging going on if you press F2. As you can see right there. Okay, so when you look at these locomotives right here, one thing that you could notice from these two right here, they are both Overland models, but the older models, if I'm not mistaken, have lit number boards or vice versa. I don't know if it's the older or not. So as you see to the right, that locomotive has lit number boards. They're off, on. So depending on the model that I have, I will get an A6 or A4. The ditch lights on the Union Pacific engines do not wigwag. So I have them on one function. So this is one, the headlight's two, number boards is three, and the rear light is four. And then I think I also have lit it inside, so that makes five. If you're looking for a nice new Canadian National, when I'm done with this, this thing will be up for sale on eBay, so look out for that. I'm probably gonna weather it before I put it up for sale. Now we're going to get into the installation. This right here is an A6. The installation for the uh, kit is uh, different as opposed to some of the other models. On this engine right here, if I zoom in, it has lit number boards. You can see the wire right here. That goes into the lit number boards, which is down there. So a regular kit would, uh, if you bought a regular kit for this Overland model, you would need the extra LED one extra LED to do the whole engine as you can see the installs fairly simple okay so you have your LED right here and you want to do an install as you can see from this locomotive they're already installed in there so I already have them put in but to put them in was very easy it's as simple as taking this and pushing it through the hole that's how easy it is but sometimes this diameter might be a tad bit too big for the hole but to fix that simple as doing this quick scrape around the side as you spin it and you scrape down the diameter 
simple like that, then you check again. Too tight, do it a little bit more. So you can stick it right in, add a dab of this glue to this, and then that's how I do mine. I add a dab of glue to the tip, and then touch it right over there. I just touch it right down in two spots, glues it right in, or you can go as far as to just dip this right into the tacky glue. This. So you see, just like that, it doesn't bother the front, and then you stick it right through, and that will hold it there too, and it gives it a nice little shine in the front too. Now, the ditch light ones are a little bit harder, and that's because they're so tiny. This is magnetic wire, 36 gauge. So as you see, they're in the kit. Right there, 36 gauge with the tiny LED. Okay, demonstrating this ditch light right here from Details West. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to install the ditch light LEDs. I simply just squeeze it out like this. And do it like that. So there it is, all over the LED. And then I slide it in. it is straight inside there it's that simple the hardest part about this is having to hold it still and let it dry so it dries you know straight not crooked again same technique squeeze out some tacky glue let it encompass the LED front back and everywhere it doesn't really matter and then slide it right through If you're impatient, like me, do that. Now, assuming you let it sit there and dry for just a couple hours, you know, it's going to be as simple as taking the lens and putting it right over. Perfect. As you can see here, that install is going to be mad easy. And there it is right there in front of you. Your rear light, the front lights, and then the uh, number boards and the ditch lights right there. So this right here took four ditch light LEDs and four headlight LEDs to make this one engine. If you look inside here, what you'll notice is the KA2. This is the keep alive capacitor, which is right here. This install now is as simple as wiring it all up to the to the DCC board and then it's basically all done. That's how simple it is to install monster LEDs so you can have your locomotives looking the very, very best. So to recap, you bought the best LED upgrade kits in the market better than anyone else. These are the best. I stand by it. I've sold hundreds of these kits. I use them on my own locomotives. They're the best of the best of the best. I love them. Go get yourself a set. You will eventually. But anyway, the install is as easy as I showed you right there. Mad simple. You're probably wondering how the hell I had the camera face down holding it so still. That was from this. I installed, I built this right here and just use it now. This basically just holds the camera, focuses it down. My little invention right here. So if you were hesitant before to order a kit because you wasn't sure how to install it or what to do, I just showed you every step of how I do to install it. All I have to do now is wire this in and this locomotive is ready for the layout. And the finale of Boy Al is going to be out. I hope you've enjoyed my new video and I'll see you guys in a rebound. All right? Peace out. Special delivery. This is the remix. Special delivery. Come on. Special delivery. Bad boy, baby. Special delivery. We won't stop. Special delivery. Yeah. G Dell. Together, as we proceed. Hey yo, sign, seal, delivered in just a nick of time. Real, I'ma give it to him. My design is rhyme in the ghetto was formed. Show power, the child of the ghetto was born. Uh, feet first, reach to the speech I kick in each verse. Prove that the shit you spitting out is dirt. That question you and you like a hustler on the first. You need work. Come on, stand by the grand high exhaust.